Mayday Fig's Zealous Hunter custom minifigure is finally here. And to celebrate the release of the figure today, he sent me over this little marketing box. Opening it up, we have a card regarding the status of any future figures he might make, along with every single person that was involved in bringing this figure to life. Underneath that is the box for the base unit, and behind that is the bag for the entry unit. Underneath all of that is a box containing some accessories we'll get into later. And at the bottom of the whole thing, is some pictures that are from the set of Attack of the Clones along with a screen grab from the Skywalker Saga. I love this little thing right here, this is great. <laughs> and this picture is just hilarious. It's so 2002, it looks like an album cover, I love it. But let's waste no time and get right into the figures available today. First, we have the entry body. This goes for about $9, comes with just a torso, legs, and arms with no hands, and it is pad printed like every single other figure. That pad printing, of course, is done by GCC, who fans of the channel should well know by now. This is a great option to get you a Zealous Hunter figure without having to break the bank and use pieces you might already have. You can do like what I did here and throw on a Wonder Woman head and some hair here that matches the look of the actress back from 2002. Or you can throw an aviator cap on that. But this is a fantastic way for people to be able to get a version of this figure and add their own parts to it at an inexpensive cost. Now moving on to the base figure. For $36, you also get a torso and legs, printed arms, an aviator cap with pad printing on it, a dual-sided printed head, an alternative head, and a bunch of accessories. And the culmination of everything here just looks fantastic. You'll notice that it doesn't come with the arms attached, and none of the Zams do. This is so that you can be the first person to put these on to reduce stress on the minifigure. When you get the whole figure completed here, it just looks fantastic. The designer Melnick edits really killed it on this one. No detail was spared. This is a true homage to the Skywalker Saga version that we see in the game. And if you know Melnick edits, it's like I do, his attention for detail is insane. No expense was spared on this figure. It has printed arms, metallic paint on the torso, and pad printing on the aviator cap. The face print is really nice, and it's also double-sided, the second side revealing a masked version of the face. This is if you don't want to use the included cloth mask that also comes with it. The waist cape looks really nice and is made by Cape for Minis, and she also comes with an alternative olive-colored head. This is to match the species that Zam turns into. I love that this was made into a separate head instead of printing it on the back of the regular head like Lego did on the original one back in 2002. There's also a huge plethora of accessories here. There's a classic Lego musket piece, a syringe, which is a nice nod to the game, and a really cool little gift with purchase of a holographic Zam made by bo Bricks. bo Bricks is a nice segue here to the upgrade kit. For 25 extra dollars, you get a custom molded helmet, which matches the in-game one, dual molded printed arms, and a waist cape that's a little more accurate to the on-screen pet counterpart. This helmet is fantastic. The mold is incredible. It's really high quality and it fits on the minifigure really nice. Printing on the dual molded arms is a really, really nice touch. And they're also available separately if you bought the entry Zam and would like to add them on there. And the Brickway did a great job on the waist cape. I really like the look of this one. I also like how it doesn't cover the details on the hip and leg printing. But overall, this is just a fantastic figure, and I'll be straight up with you guys. Mayday Figs is a close friend of mine, and putting that bias aside, this is a great figure. It is by far the best custom figure I have seen all year, and knowing all of the work and all of the people that went into making this project possible, it's so cool to finally hold this in my hands. No expense was spared here. From the beautiful box that the figure comes in if you get the base or upgraded one, no corners were cut here to ensure that you receive one of the most high quality figures you can get. But this isn't all I have to show you today. He also sent me a pad printed yellow Zam here. This was a really cool gift I got in addition to everything else. It was printed from one of the Everything is Awesome figures that come in that set. He went ahead and printed a few Zams on that, 
and gave me one of the yellow ones. <laughs> I love this this one. This this is great. I'm really appreciated. Thanks again for giving me this one. And the last thing here is a Zam that will be available later in the future. This is a light bluish gray Zam that is supposed to be more accurate to a card game version of Zam Wessel. Melnick and Mayday thought this would be a cool thing to do as well. Unfortunately, these are not ready yet, but when they are, they're going to be great. And they also come in their own box that color matches the figure like the base one in this one does. But that's all I got to say about this amazing figure. So what are you doing sitting here? Go get it. The resellers are down in the description because once these sell out, they are never making them again. This is a true limited edition custom figure. And once they're gone, they're gone. So let me know in the comments down below if you managed to pick one up. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next video.